Good morning everyone. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 10, lesson 7, multiply mixed numbers. Page number is 745. Uh, I hope all of you have your books and pencils in your hands. Uh, and I hope that all of you have already, subs already subscribed my channel. Uh, learn math with Mr. Saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video okay multiply mixed numbers boys when you multiply mixed numbers you guys know that uh, how to convert a mixed number into an improper fraction and improper fraction into a mixed number okay so to multiply the mixed numbers First, you have to convert them into an improper fraction. Let us take the first example here. You have to multiply a half here, this half with this mixed number. Okay, so this one is already fraction. You don't need to do anything, but this is a mixed number. So first, you have to convert it into an improper fraction. How you will convert it? Let me show you here. Uh, first, boys, what you will do? 3, you will multiply this whole number with the denominator. 3 times 2, that is 6, plus the numerator. So, plus 1, that is 7. Let me do it here for you guys. 3 whole 1 over 2, that is equal to 3 times 2 that is 6 plus 1 7 over the denominator same down 7 over 2 now the other fraction 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 multiply now you guys know how to multiply the fractions 7 times 1 7 2 times 2 that is 4 now, boys, this is an improper fraction. Let me clear the screen. This is an improper fraction, boys. So what you will do, you will multiply. Uh, why there are dots on the screen? Let me clear this all. Okay. 7 over 4. Now, uh, you have two methods to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. The first one you can divide, write the numerator inside as dividend and denominator as divisor. 4 times what will give you 7 or less than that. 4 times 1, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 is more than 7. You cannot take that. 4 times 1, that is 4. Then you minus 7 minus 4, 3. So this is 1, which is 1 whole, the remainder 3 above in the numerator and the denominator as it is. The other way, directly you can check how many 4 you can take out from 7, 1. And if you take out 1, 4 from 7, what left behind? 3. And the denominator, same, down. Okay. I hope you guys understand the lesson. Let me solve another example with you guys. Okay, next page. 746. Here you have to multiply two mixed numbers. So the first one, as I told you in the last example, example one, first you have to convert the mixed numbers into an improper fractions. So 1 times 2, that is 2, plus 1, that is 3. And the denominator, same. Now it's turn for the second one. 3 times 4, 12, plus 3, is 15. And the denominator, same. Now you have two improper fractions, which you have to multiply. So you multiply the numerator with the numerators. 3 times 15, 45, and the denominator with the denominator, 2 times 4, that is 8. 45 over 8, 
you can use the same method again divide write the 45 inside as the dividend or an 8 uh, as a divisor or you can directly check how many group of 8 you can take out from 45 uh, 8 times 5 is 40 and 8 times 6 48 48 is more than 45 so 8 times 5 you will see that 5 groups of 8 you can take out from 45 and if you take out 5 groups of 8 5 is left behind and the remainder 8 down as it is okay let us move down here again boys the same thing 4 times 5 that is 20 plus 1 21 over 5 the denominator same 1 over 2 the other fraction no need to change directly down here multiply the numerators 21 times 1 21 and 5 times 2 10 again you will check how many 10 you can take out from 21 that is 2 and the remainder is 1 denominator same down 10 so 2 whole 1 over 10 let's move to the next question next page uh, boys here it is an independent practice you have to solve all of these questions but let me solve uh, one or two questions as an example that how you have to solve them uh, the, this question again 1 times 3 3 plus 1 4 so you will write down here 4 over 3 the second fraction down as it is 4 times 2, 8, and 3 times 3, 9. Okay, let me solve with two mixed numbers here, boys. Uh, 1 times 3, 3 plus 1, 4. 4 over 3 times, this one now, 3 times 3, 9 plus 2, 11. So, 11 over 3. 4 times 11, 44 over 9. How many group of 9s you can take out from 44? 4. And the remainder, 8 over 9. You cannot simplify the fraction more. Okay. Boys, you will not only write the answers like this. You will solve it complete like the way I told you these two questions. Okay. Let me clear the screens so you guys can see the answers clearly and match after you finish your independent practice. Here in these three questions they are shading also they already give you the sign tell where you have to shade let us move to the next page 748 first question here again two mixed numbers multiply them they're talking about area so we use the unit square feet multiply the two mixed numbers thank you so much guys finish your classwork and homeworks also and send me your homeworks through pioneer only have a nice day thank you so much once again